everybody, welcome back to the studio. It's so great to be here. I want to talk a little bit today about actually getting on the apparatus, which I know sounds silly because it seems like I'm just going to get on the apparatus, but there's certain things we don't do. Like we don't straddle the apparatus. We don't kind of clunk ourselves on and fidget a lot when we're trying to lie down. There's a certain way to do it that's really efficient. Um, the first thing we want to do, however, is make sure that we have the correct springs. So you'll either have three or four, depending on what your teacher indicates. Your foot bar will be up. Your headpiece will be up as opposed to flat, or propped up, and your handles should be on the little pegs behind the shoulder blocks just in terms of being ready to go for your next exercise, which would be the 100 once you do your footwork. To get on the apparatus safely, you'll stand with your back to the apparatus so that one bottom cheek is on the carriage side and one bottom cheek is on the spring side. Stand really tall, heels together, toes apart, just a couple of inches away from the frame, not too far. Genie your arms and get that really nice tall posture, setting the intention for your workout. Take one foot, whichever one feels best to you, in front of the other on your toes and carefully lower yourself down onto the carriage. You can use your hands to spin around and you should be ready to go. You're lying right on the carriage where you belong, shoulders against the blocks, feet in the middle of the bar, heels together, toes apart, feet on the bar, firm, and you'll be ready to press out. And then resist all the way in for your footwork. Enjoy your workout. 